Hello, and thank you for watching this Dawson Tools instructional video for the DCT220 Digital Cable Tracker. Let's take a look at the features of this meter. To begin, power on the transmitter by pressing the power button. The display will show the current signal level and code. To adjust the power level of the transmitter signal, press the level select button. Press the up and down buttons to adjust the power level. Press the level select button again to save the adjustment. The code select button changes the signal that the transmitter outputs, meaning that if you have multiple transmitters, you can set different signal codes and the receiver can differentiate between the signals. To change the signal code, hold the code select button and the code will flash on the display. Press the up and down arrows to adjust the code to the desired setting. Once set, hold the code select button again and the code selection will be saved. Turn on the receiver by pressing the power button. The default sensitivity of the receiver is auto. To switch to manual sensitivity, press the manual button. Press the up and down buttons to adjust the sensitivity to the desired level. To return to auto sensitivity, press the manual button again. To start transmitting, connect the transmitter to the circuit or wire being tested using the test leads connected to the positive and ground jacks. Check the manual, starting on page 13, for the different types of connection methods. Press the start stop button on the transmitter and it will send a signal along the connected circuit or wire. Using the receiver, Move the tip along the wall until you get a signal. The receiver will display the signal strength and produce a tone. The higher the tone, the stronger the signal received. Trace the circuit by moving the receiver along the wall following the signal from the transmitter. If the signal falls off suddenly, that location is approximately where a break in the circuit has occurred. To stop transmitting, press the start stop button again. Both the receiver and transmitter have backlights so they can be used in darker environments. To turn on the backlight, press the backlight button and the display's backlight will turn on. The backlight will stay on until the button is pressed again. To mute either the transmitter or receiver and stop it from making noise, hold the backlight button. The buzzer will no longer make noise until you hold the button again. The receiver has a flashlight located just under the tip. To turn the flashlight on, press the flashlight button and the light turns on to make tracking in dark environments easier. Press the button again to turn off the flashlight. The receiver also has a non-contact voltage detection function. To use it, press the NCV button and the meter switches to non-contact voltage mode. Move the tip of the receiver towards the potential voltage source. If the sensor detects voltage, the receiver's buzzer will give off a tone. The higher the tone, the closer the receiver is to the voltage source. Thank you for watching this instructional video for the DCT220. For more information on this or any of our other products, please visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.